Sometime around 2016, I started deconstructing my faith. I created a group called Carl's Coaching because I thought, well, since I was a pastor, I must need to be a coach now. But I abandoned that idea and created the Desert Sanctuary with my wife, Laura. Shortly thereafter, I started writing down my experiences, which eventually became books. Later on, Laura would join me and I would also write some fiction books. Apparent Faith was my first attempt at recording what I was going through. It used the lens of parenthood to try to understand how I was feeling about God and how those views were changing. I also had an experience in a tea shop while visiting my son that literally changed my life. After a scooter wreck altered our plans, I ended up in this tea house where I met the man with no name. As I began to grow and heal, as some describe it, it was like peeling back layers of an onion, and eventually I had what I would consider my dark night of the soul, where all of my past things that I tried to stuff down came up, and being is my journey towards presence and authenticity and healing. When I discovered a hotel in my hometown that had many rumors of tunnels under the street and prohibition and gangsters and goblins and ghosts, I decided to write a fiction novel loosely based on this hotel. It's history with a mystery. When Laura joined me on our best book, it became the best selling title we have so far. It's an honest evaluation of organized religion in the 21st century, and is it possible to thrive outside of organized religion? The second novel begins with the idea of a woman who is, was pregnant in high school and got trapped in a small town, who later becomes the hero of the story. Lots of twists and turns to this novel but Jenny is the hero in the end. Leaning forward is the idea that came from my childhood where we were always discovering. It's a continuation of Out Into the Desert with stories from our podcast and our experiences out here in the desert since we started our deconstruction. We also had the privilege of contributing to a book called Parenting Deconstruction, which is 10 or 12 authors with different perspectives on how they handle different aspects of parenting out in the desert. We hope that you will eventually try all of our books, but pick out the one that's right for you and ask us if you need some help. Also, if you can't afford a book, please let us know because we'd like to help you out. As always, be where you are, be who you are, and be at peace.